Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. If we should deal falsely with our God in this work, and cause him to withdraw his present help from us, we shall be made a story and a byword through the world. The only way to avoid this shipwreck, to provide for our posterity, is to follow the counsel of Micah, to do justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with our God. For in this end, we must be knit together as one man. We must entertain each other in brotherly affection. We must be willing to abridge our superfluities for the sake of others' necessities. We must uphold a familiar commerce in all meekness, gentleness, and patience, and liberality. We must rejoice in each other, making others' conditions Rejoice together, mourn together, labor and suffer together, always having before our eyes our commission and community in the work. If we deal falsely with our God, a story and a byword, so shall we keep the spirit of the bond, of peace. The Lord will be our God and delight to dwell among us that we may see much more of his wisdom, power, glory, and, and truth than we have formerly been acquainted with. We shall find that the God of Israel is among us when 10 of us shall be able to withstand a thousand of our enemies when he shall make us a power and a glory that men shall say of succeeding plantations, the Lord make it like that of new England. We must recall that we shall be as a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us. <laughs> that if we deal falsely with our God in this work we have undertaken and so cause him to withdraw his present help from us we shall be made a story and a byword through the world therefore let us choose life that we and our seed might live for he is our hope and our prosperity.